Tyler Perry is quieter than a church mouse as it pertains to his romantic life, so his fans were thrilled when he opened up a bit and stepped out with a woman named Gilile Bekele. But he kept most of the details about their romance away from the public eye, and that made people wonder if the relationship was legit. Well, RRG was able to dig up some interesting information about this mysterious situation, and we're gonna share all the juicy details. I need to know the tea, girl. Before we dive deep into other people's business, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, gummy sour bears, RRG coffee mugs, and butter toffee peanuts. Back in 2007, Tyler attended a Prince concert. While there, he noticed an Ethiopian-born model named Galila. We can't confirm the exact date of the concert, but we do know that Galila turned 21 years old in 2007 and Tyler turned 38. According to People magazine, they developed a friendship for the first two years, and then they officially started dating in 2009. He told Sister to Sister magazine, We were crazy in love. It was crazy, crazy love between the two of us. It was insane. Insane, huh? Okay. They split up shortly thereafter. What the hell happened? And Tyler put his focus back on writing, producing, and directing his projects. In 2010, he opened up to Oprah Winfrey about the trauma he experienced during his childhood. Tyler was born as Emmett Perry Jr. on September 13, 1969, in New Orleans. His dad was physically abusive, and Tyler told Oprah his childhood was like living in hell because he had to endure beatings, shouting, and a lot of name-calling. He would constantly use his imagination to escape the trauma by visualizing himself running and playing in a park. Tyler said as a child, he would escape to that same park every time someone mistreated him. His mother, Maxine, was also mistreated by his father, and she tried to leave him several times. One day, she packed up Tyler and his siblings in their Cadillac and drove to California. But when Tyler's dad reported the car stolen, his mom was pulled over and locked up. Tyler's dad and uncle picked them all up from California and drove them back to Louisiana. Tyler said his dad laid hands on his mom the entire ride home. Things weren't any better outside of the home. Tyler was taken advantage of on several occasions by both men and women. Those incidents left him feeling confused and angry. At the age of 16, he changed his name from Emmett Jr. to Tyler in order to distance himself from his dad. And he later found out through a DNA test that his dad wasn't even his biological father. After telling his truth to Oprah in front of millions of viewers, it was like a weight was lifted off his shoulders. In an interview with Sister to Sister magazine, Tyler stated he and Galila had a conversation after his Oprah interview, and it was a healing moment for both of them. He said, I know that had I not done the show, she and I probably would have never spoken again. They reconciled and started dating again. He told the magazine he was very much in love and would probably be married and have kids without anyone finding out. Say what now? In February 2012, our friends over at Straight From The A website stated Tyler and Galila were secretly engaged. A year and a half later, an anonymous source reached out to Straight From The A and revealed that Tyler and Galila's relationship was faker than a BBL booty. Lord, this is getting messy. The insider stated that Galila was only with Tyler for appearances, and she had a real boyfriend behind the scenes that she had been dating for years. The man was identified as an entrepreneur named Ronnie Madra. Ronnie who? The insider even provided pictures of Galila and Ronnie at events during the same time she was supposedly in a relationship with Tyler. The insider added, In reality, it's a fraud, and he is paying her as an escort for public appearances only. I think it is completely pathetic of a grown man to lie about a woman he is supposedly seeing to save face because he is down low. Now hold up now. Um, yeah. So in other words, the tea spiller was alleging that Tyler was using Galila as his beard. Tyler has dodged gay allegations ever since Medea made her debut on the Chitlin circuit. Although he has gone on the record to reaffirm his heterosexuality, the rumors about his preference have persisted. Following news of his alleged engagement, controversial social media star Walter Lee Hampton outed Tyler as gay and said Tyler used to frequent gay clubs back in the day. Walter later told the G-List Society, Tyler Perry has reached out to me many times over the years and attempts to silence me and he has? offer me money. Oh, yes. Oh. I, let, I don't need Tyler Perry's money. Why? I'm not ashamed of who I am. And he shouldn't be ashamed of who he is. 
After exposing Tyler, Walter popped up online with a gash on his face that required 120 stitches. Messy online user stated Tyler had his goons slash Walter up, but Walter later confirmed he suffered the injury as a glass door fell on him. Now, back to Tyler and Galila. Tyler continued cranking out projects, and in 2013, Galila jumped behind the camera and started directing and producing her own films. She also became an advocate for women's rights to equal opportunities in her homeland of Ethiopia and abroad. As for those wedding plans, well, instead of making Galila a wife, Tyler made her his baby mama. Y'all so damn messy. He told People Magazine he got a FaceTime call, and when he answered it, Galila was holding the positive pregnancy test. Tyler said, There's no other person on this planet that I would want to be involved with or have a child with because she's amazing. In December 2014, 28-year-old Galila and 45-year-old Tyler welcomed their son Amon into the world. Oprah and Cicely Tyson were named as the child's godmothers. Following his son's first birthday, Tyler told The Real that his son had changed his life. He said, He's a healer for me because I look at him and see myself as a little boy, and I'm able to give him all the love and all the things that I never had. He also told the Ricky Smiley Morning Show that he felt more motivated to lose weight so he could be around longer for his son. As far as showing the world a glimpse of his baby boy, Tyler told the radio show that he wanted to enjoy parenthood privately and he wanted his son to be a kid without being disturbed by all the negativity in the world. At the time of the interview, which took place in October 2016, Tyler was worth an estimated $400 million. But he made it clear his son wouldn't be getting any handouts. He said, he's going to have to go to work. He ain't going to be one of those kids sitting around here with their hand out driving this car and that car and living rich. No, nah, brother, mommy and daddy got money. You ain't got none. And then came some news that no one expected. Oh. Here we go. A mother of two named Carla appeared on the Dr. Phil show and swore she was married to Tyler. I know you lie. Her daughter's claim of fake Tyler Perry, he has scammed her out of a lot of money, is conning their mom. So you are married to Tyler Perry? Yes, I am. Despite Dr. Phil trying to knock some sense into her ass, Carla was convinced that she was Mrs. Tyler Perry. Bless her heart. In April 2020, Tyler appeared on T.I.'s Expeditiously podcast. T.I. told Tyler that everyone wanted to know why he hadn't tied the knot. T.I. got some nerve wondering about somebody else's relationship. <laughs> Sit your ass down, tip. Tyler responded, I have someone who is wonderful and she's getting her share of all of it. Okay. Eight months later, Tyler hopped on Instagram to post a gym selfie along with a caption to announce that he was single. Come again now. Tyler wrote that he was wondering what the next chapter of his life would look like. Fix it, Jesus. As they moved forward with their lives as co-parents, Tyler told AARP Magazine that he was holding off on having conversations about race with his son, who was six at the time. Tyler said his motive was to protect his son from the eventual loss of innocence that would come from diving into that deep topic. Tyler said, I don't want to tell him that there are people who will judge him because of the color of his skin, because right now he's in a school with every race and all these kids are in their purest form. In 2023, Tyler teamed up with Galila to produce a documentary about his life called Maxine's Baby, The Tyler Perry Story. In an interview with Today.com, Galila said she felt honored to co-direct the project. Since the documentary was about his life, fans were hoping to get more insight into his relationship with Galila and their son. However, Galila said she chose not to include herself or her love life with Tyler in the project. She said, I wanted to take myself out of it and just follow my curiosity and create a space for polarity where his critics and his fans can sort of share their truth. The hell she talking about? She and Tyler also made the decision to not include clips or photos of their son in the film. By not doing so, they hoped to let him grow up outside the bright lights of Hollywood and be a child. What are your thoughts on Tyler Perry's mysterious relationship and family life? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.